quite some time now since we saw the top billing and the poster released. We have making his way to the red corner, Mr. Isaiah Diggs, coming to you by way of Federal Way, Washington. Josh, did we just mention that there's some great wrestling up in the state of Washington? I think we just did. We just did mention that. As we said earlier, Isaiah Diggs is a product of this Colorado State University wrestling, uh, Colorado State University Pueblo wrestling program, I should say, under the tutelage of one Dax Charles. He trains out of Ultimate Performance. Like say, folks, he is a wrestler coming in with a record of 2-0, looking to scratch that third win in the column along with his first title. He wants to be one of the best ever. That is why he started fighting. He says that he has that drive, that hunger, and that push to want to continue to propel himself. And sometimes I feel like we see that from these guys coming out of the collegiate wrestling ranks that you know may maybe they fell just short of that national title as a yeah. wrestler. Somebody like a Daniel Cormier was one who was very infamous for speaking to this. He said, I fell just short in college. Mm -hmm. I fell short as an Olympian. Yeah. So I still had that competitive drive, that fire burning deep inside of me. I had the hunger in my belly that made me get out of bed every single morning and fighting was my way to be able yeah. to silence that you can't it's not easy to get rid of that competitive nature and and I, I can speak to this for myself you just sometimes you don't start putting things together until time runs out and then you got to find another avenue to let your competitive nature go through and for digs it's mma and man looks like an athlete it looks like it's going to be a tough fight coming up He's a very much so a pressure fighter. His main influence is the welterweight champion of the world, one Colorado camp zone, Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman. Now making his way to the blue corner in the main event of the evening, we have Joshua Jolly. He fights out of Stoneheads, Stoneheads and making his way to us by way of Torrington, Wyoming. He fights out of Black Hole MMA, and he does a strength and conditioning out of the same gym there at Black Hole MMA. He described himself as a freestyle fighter. He will be cornered this evening by Fernando Beltran. He's been training for a few years now. He loves the sport, and he has fun doing what he does. Sometimes a happy fighter, Josh, is a dangerous fighter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you can be calm, cool, and just happy with what you're doing. Mindset is a crucial part of this game, and if you can be in the right mindset, you're setting yourself up for a good performance. Josh, this is where it's kind of crazy right now that we may see a very big styles clash in this matchup. We have, as Mr. Jolly's favorite fighter or his primary influence and the guy that he would love to emulate, it happens to be a teammate of Kamaru Usman, but it's very different stylistically. <laughs> his influence is the human highlight reel, the highlight Justin Gaethje. Yeah, those are completely different styles right there. On the opposite sides of the, opposite sides of the spectrum, but that sometimes makes for one hell of a fight. Height and reach advantage is certainly going to go to Josh Jolly in this matchup. However, the strength and explosion advantage will go to Isaiah Diggs. Interestingly enough, we don't always see wrestlers come out with tie shorts. With tie shorts, very interesting. You think he might have just borrowed his coach's shorts because he forgot his. Could be the case. Could, be. Could just be that, hey, he's got a little Rafa YL in him. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go with the first round of this championship main event. Touching him up for the title fight. We see the jab pump right away from Josh nice Jolly, jab. but then we see Isaiah Diggs crack back in return. 
just compact, ready to explode. Isaiah Diggs, nice hooks and uppercuts. Straight for oh, the takedown. Oh, what a double leg takedown right there. Head into the chest, dump, double leg. Now he is all, all over All the way over here. into full mount. Full and mount, he's starting raining to rain down, down blows. This could We're end We're already quickly. starting to see Josh Jolly start to shell up and trying to pull him in tight. It's not a good sign when you're just trying to hug him at that point versus trying to work to a hip and find your way outside of the mount to get up. We see Isaiah Diggs, Diggs is really starting to tee off and he's those posturing. Body he's shots. raining in the body shots to open up this the face. This is going to be called here. Referee is keeping a very, very close look on this action right here. It looks oh, like Diggs Isaiah Diggs him is up. giving him a little bit of space. Is he just going to try to look to find the entry, or does he look to say, hey, I was finding my mark with those uppercuts? Diggs looking very calm, very calm. As soon calm. as we said that he was finding success with the uppercuts, we hear his corner calling for fives and sixes. For those watching at home, and fives and sixes are the down. traditional boxing command for the uppercuts. We have Diggs in the neon belly position, just raining down punches. Going deep half is also not a very good position to be in in MMA. You know, there's a lot of jiu-jitsu guys out there who will work leg attacks and work for those layup stretches from that position. But in MMA, you can have fists dropped on your face, Josh. So keeping that exposed is not a very good spot to be, especially against a strong muscle-up guy oh, like Isaiah Especially Diggs. with this pressure that he's coming down with. Just raining. You can hear those thuds. And it's only going to be a matter of time. It is close to being done right here. And it is, it over. is all over. First Isaiah round TKO Diggs. for Isaiah Diggs. He is your new Colorado Combat Club amateur 155-pound champion. What a performance by Isaiah Diggs. He came, he saw, he conquered, folks. Right off of the rip, he looked strong with his striking. He found that blended entry with the strong double leg takedown, and he really didn't let up off of the pressure there. We saw them go back to the feet at one point, but it was very quickly right back to Isaiah Diggs being on top and in a dominant position, dominant working position. his way for the ground and pound en route to the finish. And you know, Jordan, that knee on belly position that he had most of the fight, that is not comfortable. That is not, that's so much pressure coming down on your stomach and your sternum. And he was just pressuring the whole time. Great performance. And especially from a guy who is as muscularly dense as Diggs is. Yes, yes. That's a lot of mass in one pressure point. And with the official decision. And you can hear Isaiah Diggs has this crowd going wild. The new Colorado Combat Amateur 155 champion. And we are about to hear from the champ himself. And there you have it right there, folks, your new amateur lightweight champion in the Colorado Combat Club ranks, Isaiah Diggs. Thank you for tuning in, folks. As we sign off here, we just want to give a couple of quick thank yous. We want to give a thank you to the cage side doc, Alice Constantinides. We want to give a special thank you to everybody here with the Colorado Commission, including Chief Inspector Eric Hines. We want to thank our officials on hand. We also want to thank ring announcer Aaron Varau, Colorado Combat Club CEO Eric Mitchell, Colorado Combat Club matchmaker Rick Garcia, Costa Films with the production alongside the cage, and 
I am Jordan Kurtz. You can follow me online at comments from the peanut gallery. I'm sitting alongside the LFA 2020 male fighter of the year, Josh Fram. You could follow him online at Josh Fram MMA. Be sure to follow the social media pages for Colorado Combat Club for updates on the future cards as we continue to close out this 2021 frame. Like I say, folks, I'm Jordan Kurtz here sitting alongside Josh Fram. Thank you for tuning in for Colorado Combat Club 8 down in Pueblo, Colorado at the newly renovated Pueblo Convention Center.